Yes, it's another edition of the John Tazzy Rickster Show. Excuse me, I'm sorry. The Tazzy Never Scare Show. Hey, I could go either way. Anyways, I'm your host, of course, Sean Tassie Rickster. You know, uh, first I want to apologize for uh, last week's show. Last week's show got erased. I don't know how, it just got erased. But I'm making sure that the, now all these videos are going to be on lock now. They're going to be on lock. Nobody can mess with them. It'll be all good. It'll never happen again. So... With that in mind, today's guest is Kevin Fennell. Now, this location is not my room. We're actually in the clubhouse of the Oakland A's. Clubhouse manager Steve Usenich is the clubhouse manager. Now, as we go forward to this, like I said, Kevin Fennell will be on the show. He's going to be talking about what happened last year. Uh, we're going to talk about some other things like the Raiders and... Uh, probably put a little bit of our topic, a sneak peek of our topic for next week. Stay tuned. You'll see what the topic is next week. A little hint. Hint, hint. Nah. We'll be right back with Kevin right after this. It's a taxi never scared show. Welcome back. This is the Tassie Never Scare Show. Yes, you heard it right. It's the Tassie Never Scare Show. I'm now with my guest, special guest, Kevin Fennell. How you doing, man? Doing great, Sean. Thanks for having me on the show. Oh, uh, no problem. No problem. Uh, first, um, how long you, we, of course, you see the location we're in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, we are inside the Ace Clubhouse right now. Very, yeah, very our, exciting. Like, second, our second home right here. Yep, this definitely is. Yeah. Spend a lot of hours here. Oh, I just feel I went like 12 hours a day here. Something like that. <laughs> How long have you been here? How long have you been here? Um, this is actually my fifth season uh, with the A's. started back in uh, 2007, so mm-hmm. yeah, we go back quite a bit, don't we, Sean? Oh, man, we've been, it's been back and forth. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> Definitely. Uh-huh. So, um, how long have you been an A's fan? I guess, uh-huh. yeah. Well, basically, I'd say my whole life. I really started following the team uh, seriously, I'd say, in the beginning of 2002, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, my dad took me to an ace game here. I really kind of started following um, the team a lot more at that point. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good team to be around, too, you know. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, you know, it's good. Now, um, let's go back last year. Mm-hmm. There's a day, I believe it was August. Not sure the date. You probably would know the date. Um, tell, go back to exactly what happened on that day. Yeah, well, basically for um, your viewers that don't know what happened, um, at the end of last year, end of August, um, um, I was the ace ball boy. I was the ace ball boy for the for the whole season down the left field line. Actually got down to the bullpen that day, and um, uh, some of the bullpen pitchers suggested to me that I give every foul ball that day um, to a girl in the stands, um, which I then went ahead and did that, um, was able to... Um, Get her number, and we went on a few dates and whatnot, and yeah. Yeah, we only need to talk to about what's the name, right? They, uh, we we were told we should be saying her name anyway. <clears throat> so anyway, now um, we have you. You're in the bullpen. Mm-hmm. Of course, you didn't decide you want to do it on your own. What was which player actually suggested it to you? Well, I think um, the idea was the the bullpen as a whole. Um, I think um, specifically the players involved would probably, um, you know, Bailey, uh, Andrew Bailey, Brad Ziegler, Michael Wirtz, Craig Breslow, they were all kind of um, involved with the idea, and they kept encouraging me throughout the game, all of them. But really, I'm sure the idea was uh, um, the bullpen collectively as a whole. Yeah. Knowing them guys? Yeah, I can see that. Now, um, let's, let's, go, let's go back again. You would think that would be it. Like, mm-hmm. okay, you're you might you might get caught on ESPN, you know, the top ten or whatever or whatever, but that's not it. What happened? Um, well, obviously, um, the game was being filmed on the you know the A's TV network, um, and they picked up on what I was doing first. Um, Ray Fossey had mentioned it, um, and then once uh, that happened, obviously ESPN picked up on it and they kind of did a little story on it and kind of just you know spread from there. 
um, did a couple ESPN interviews before um, my date with that with that girl, and, um, and then Inside Edition wanted to do a story, so they flew us out to New York and did a did a story out there and did some some local things like Sports Sunday out here on NBC. That's good. That's 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 really very very interesting to just see mm-hmm. how that unfolds. Now, what did you learn from all this? Um, well, I mean, I think what I take from it the most is, is it was really an exciting experience um, for me. Um, I mean, I'm not sure if I really learned anything from it other than, you know, kind of how interviews work, I guess. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, right after this, right after we go a little, little like, 30-second break, mm-hmm. Um, you're, you're, you're a pretty good Raider fan, huh? Yeah, I'm a huge Raider fan. I've actually been following the Raiders since, uh, I don't know, early 2000 or so, yeah. So, when we come back, we're going to talk, talk Raiders. There, uh, there's talks about them moving, so when we come back to the Taxi Never Scared Scare Show, we're going to talk about it. All right, sounds good. It's the Taxi Never Scare Show. Welcome back. It's the Taxi Never Scare Show. Well, in the best shows ever on YouTube. First of all, I want to thank YouTube for having for having me on this uh, little shink dig website. You already want to call it. I appreciate it. Now, Kevin. Yes. We talked about uh, what happened last year. Yep. If you missed it, all you gotta do is go rewind it mm-hmm. and watch it again. Now, let's talk Raiders. Let's talk Raiders. So you said how long have you been a Raider fan? Um, since uh, I'd say early two thousand or so. Yeah, right. Uh, you know the glory days of the Raiders. Glory days of the Raiders. Yeah, the John Gruden era and Tim Brown and Rich Gannon, all those you know, yeah. legends. I, I bet the Raiders are actually missing John Gruden right now. Yeah. Yeah. So now <laughs> this is this is crazy because the last time the Raiders been to the playoffs has been it's been about. Uh, 2002, uh, 2002, 2003 season when they went to the Super Bowl and lost. Yeah, that was the last time they. Yeah, uh, yeah. who was the who was the coach they lost? Yeah, to? obviously John Gruden. Yeah, then didn't, didn't work out in the trade. Yeah, so let's think about it. your favorite Raider pair, Raider player of all time. Um, that's actually an easy one. I think um, one of the most underrated quarterbacks of all time. Um, definitely, I say one of the best of all time. Uh, Rich Gannon, definitely number twelve. My favorite. Uh, Player growing up, definitely in football. That's not bad of a pick, even though he only well, was good for a certain amount of years. If he would have been good in Kansas City, he'd probably get a party be a Hall of Fame right now. Yeah, maybe. But that's the way that's that's the way the career goes. Huh? Mm-hmm. So now we're we're hearing talks about the Raiders. Okay, if people don't know, the Raiders been here was here, went to L.A., mm-hmm. came back here. Yeah. And now there's the rumors that they're actually leaving to go back to L.A. Mm. And the only reason why they left L.A. in the first place is because I guess out they, I guess the Oakland uh, was uh, deciding if they wanted to build a stadium here. And out they was like, okay, mm-hmm. I'll, we'll come back. Yeah. But we're still here. Same stadium. Nothing. Yeah. So now, there's talks about them going back to L.A., where they actually got a stadium they're about to, they're building, they're mm-hmm. going to build. And how do you feel about that? Um, well, obviously, I think um, all over California, the Raiders have a huge fan base. I was actually uh, down in Riverside last summer um, at one of the malls down there, and they had a Raider Image store um, in that mall. And obviously, the malls throughout the Bay Area, they also have Raider Image stores. So I think there is a huge fan base um, throughout all of California. So I definitely think the Raiders can be successful in L.A., definitely. That's good. That's good because I think it would be a lot better they actually have a, actually a football stadium mm-hmm. instead of them, they just build a, base, a, fo- a baseball stadium, then they turn into a football stadium, which this really should be a baseball stadium anyway. Mm-hmm. But we ain't going to get in that right now. <laughs> We're going to let that go. So now here's the point of the show where I'm going to let you – Give you all your shouts out of the way. Uh, you can shout anybody you want to. Go for it. Okay. Um, I definitely want to give a shout out to all my amazing coworkers here in the A's, um, here at the A's. Um, definitely, I know you uh, 
going to have Jordan on the show at some point in the future, and he's a, a real great personality. I think he's really educated and really well-spoken, so he's going to be a great guest you can have on the show. Um, but I really think everyone here that you work with at the A should be on the show. Um, we have a lot of great um, personalities here, a lot of great stories that, that your coworkers, uh, my coworkers as well, um, can tell. So I mm -hmm. uh, definitely want to give them all a shout-out, and, and uh, yeah, I want to thank you for having me on the show, and I wish you uh, nothing but the best. Thank you. By the way, if you didn't know, we went to the horse races on Thursday. Yes, we did. Uh, very interesting. <laughs> it was a very interesting outing, by the way. Yeah, I think I remember, of, I remember I, like half of it. <laughs> yeah, I think I think everyone that uh, attended had had a great time. Yeah. So uh, what I'm gonna do? A couple of the guys are gonna be on the show by itself with, with, with me, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna have try to get all the whole staff together on one show. Which would be it'd be great for us, you know. I I think so. Definitely, it'll be a um, very interesting show. Just to get some exposure, because mm -hmm. well, we never, you never see the, the um, behind the scenes look of who's, yeah. who's actually doing everything. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, by the way, our our topic for next week, next week's show. You ready? You ready for this? Yeah. You think they're ready? I think they're ready. I think ready. Here we go. Special, not special, sports teams jerseys. What's your favorite sports team jerseys? Because there's a lot of talks of like each each uh, sports team should just have one jersey. Yeah. I don't have, think so. I don't know they should all have the same jersey, but uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's a good idea. I don't know. We it's, can talk about it next week on the show. Yeah, that would be awesome. Look, what's your favorite uh, sports team jersey? Um, I have a feeling what you're going to say, too. <laughs> Well, I'm biased, of course. I love the A's uniforms, and I love the the Raiders, you know, uniforms. Uh, kind of the Raiders have the more basic look, you know. Um, the A's have gold jerseys. Um, mm -hmm. I like the green. Um, I like the Pirates uniforms. I even like the Niners uniforms. Um, yeah, that's, I definitely like. I like more. Ba I like. Well, I like more basic uniforms. <laughs> Not a fan of like the really eccentric colors. A shot coming out of a Raider fan as well. <laughs> like the 49 hours jersey. Well, anyway, we ain't going to get into that right now. <laughs> so remember, your favorite sports team jersey. So when we come back, I want to thank uh, Kevin again for coming on the show. When we come back, we're going to talk about uh, what's going on next week's show and beyond. All right? This is the Tassie Never Scare Show. Welcome back to the Tassie Never Scare Show. I once again want to thank my guest, Kevin Fennell, for coming on the show. Uh, real quick, our next week's topic is favorite sports team jerseys. All right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep you informed on what I want you to do for the show. All right? So stay on Facebook or whatever, Twitter, whatever, okay? Real quick. Everybody, this is Jordan. How are you doing, Jordan? Doing great, Sean. Uh, really uh, excited. Good. Um, tell, uh, introduce yourself, please. Well, uh, I'm Jordan. I work with uh, Sean here in the clubhouse, and in a couple weeks we're going to be filming a politics show. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting time, obviously. Uh, Obama recently gave a speech on Afghanistan. Uh, Libya is heating up mm -hmm. uh, with you know what we're going to do there. The debt ceiling vote's coming up in August. And uh, as you know, the 2012 presidential Elections coming up soon, and Republicans are starting to uh, to enter the race and right. and challenge Obama for the uh, for the bully pulpit, as they call it. So we have a lot to discuss, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome, awesome. So that show is gonna be July 13th. Circle your calendar. Circle your calendar. Circle the calendar there. Okay. Circle your calendar and get ready. Once again, I want to thank everybody. I want to thank Jordan for coming here for a quick second with me. This is the Tash Never Scare Show. Tash Show. Come on. Tash Show. I don't think I could do it. I'm going to let you handle this one. Show. Uh, Tash Show. Uh, Tash Show.